Um, good day. Welcome to King Cole. I'm Susan. I know it's been a long time. And here's Joanne next to the screen. Hello. Yes, we um, we now have a nice plastic screen so we don't have to wear the masks um, to, to do this because it was quite difficult to do from behind a mask. So, um, so yes, we now have... Yeah, it feels equipment. more personal. It we? does. Yeah. It does. But, um, so we're, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get cracking with our new offering which today is the Subtle Drifter Chunky. So it's an addition to the Drifter range, yes. um, another plane for the Chunky to complement the other Chunkies um, that go in the Drifter range. Um, we're loving this new one. It's now got 25% cotton, 6% wool, and 69% premium acrylic. So it's, it's a similar Lovely blend to all the others, um, which is great. Yeah, very soft. Yeah. We've got eight new colours. Um, you get 100 grams, and on your 100 grams, you've got 164 yards or 150 metres, and we're recommending a six millimetre needle. <coughs> I knew this was going to happen as soon. Now you yeah. know that you're not allowed to cough. I want to cough all the time. I know. Um, it's just because you've been told. <laughs> <laughs> it is. We're not supposed to. We're not ill. <laughs> um, right, yeah. So we've got a 40 degree um, machine wash, but it is a soft wash. Don't just throw it into your heavy duty 40 degree one. Um, you can dry clean it. You can low heat tumble dry this, um, but don't iron it. It yeah. doesn't, doesn't like being ironed. Um, do the blocking. Um, where you lay it on a towel if if that works better for you but don't iron it so new colors some um, lovely colors yeah we've got this lovely shade of cream which is um calico on on that one um and i do particularly like this shade it's, i do too because um, it's not like a yellowy one it, it no. is more of a, a softer it's proper soft cream like yes. you're saying and we love this hat and scarf yes. effect, which we will have a bit better look at later um, so that's the first one. Then we've got two really nice pinks. This first one is the darker one and it's called Rose and it it really does flatter. It is. I think, I think they're both nice colours. They're yeah. really, really nice. Yes. This one, I love it. We've done some of this shade before. This one we've called Confetti, but it's a very lovely soft pink and I'm really falling in love with, yes. with this um, colourway. There's some lovely garments in it that we we'll do, show you yeah. in a minute, Not actually, in that colour. Not just the either. We're liking that one for the adults. Um, yes, I think so. <clears throat> Sometimes you associate pink pink with you do. girls yeah. and it's not it's it can be for adults and, uh, yeah. as well i can't even speak today <laughs> <laughs> sorry because we've not been allowed to so. i know <laughs> um this one is walnut so it's brown but there is when you look closely at this and you'll, you'll need to get up close um there's sort of two tones running through them and one of them is almost a little bit sort of a gray brown um, so that one's got a really interesting a nice little, earthy colour. Yeah, it's got like an extra layer to it, particularly on that one. Um, next we have got Slate, which is a nice um, grey that, yes. again, is really popular. I know um, I'm actually knitting something in grey, but yeah. we'll talk about that in another video. Talk about that another time. Um, then mustard, which we're, we love. Everybody's yes. loving mustard at the moment. Um, I, I we can't say, keep it in, can we? No, I'm just the same. I'm, I'm loving the mustard. And again, this one, um, the drifters, even the subtle drifters, which are technically plain, because of the different blend within it, you are getting the different sort of colours yes. um, options going in each one. So this one, again, is not just a block, even though it does look one colour from a distance, there's definitely more. That's why it's called subtle, because yeah. there's the subtle hints of colours and are. blues. Yeah. This one, your nice denim one, um, which is a shade we've got similar in other ranges and again is proving really popular. And this one again has, has the two tone showing quite nicely yes. on, on that one. And then last but not least is Midnight. So the nice navy one. Um, again, you can see the slight differences in this, but it's less pronounced on the navy than, than on some yes. of the other colours. But just something you might want to have a closer look at if you get a chance to. Okay, so um, shall I hold up the pattern first and, uh, yeah. and then we'll go? Yes. Right, I always get in trouble. <clears throat> I'll remember pass. the pattern number this time. <laughs> it's 5679 and there's two garments. Which one do you want to show there first? Is. I'll show the little cardigan the first. The little which cardigan is the here, which is in a lovely soft pink. Yeah. So on this, you've got some really nice detail. Bubbles. You've got um, the basket weave look at the bottom, bubbles, and then um, the, the sort of triangle or diamond 
walking yes. one and it shows really beautifully on the back on oh, this one I think the detailing on the back is fantastic yeah. on that one it's um and just then fairly plain sleeves but with a little bobble on but i just think that's adorable um and hopefully a lot of a lot of the little girls will with various buttons you could use with this but this is just our little wooden button yes. range um which is a great neutral um, we've been talking about this how we've both been into textures <coughs> lately too mm. yeah the different textures are really really coming into things then there's okay, the on the version. dark we'll make sure we get it right yeah in the darker pink and again you've got got lovely nice details detailing. so i just think they're they're yeah. super love, no, not love a, not an easy knit no not an easy knit <laughs> definitely not easy um if you're just starting out probably not the one to go for but but sure. very very lovely in the first place um right I'm okay for, sure do you I'm want for. that's the one yes so i don't is, have a blue one i have no. a gray one it's a men's jumper do you want to say the pattern number yeah, please five six eight six yeah, on so this one for the i'll men. hold it like this it's the details on the sleeve i love the cable going up on the side it's beautiful, this. Yeah. And it's a raglan thing. I would say, like, um, somebody with some cable experience could do this one because there's only a few decreases near the top. Yeah, there is. And it's yeah. just stock and stitch for the body. Yeah. So it's so, a nice mm -hmm. classic one. V-neck. You've got a crew neck um, shown v -neck. in the navy blue and then the V-neck in that. But they're, yeah. they're yeah. very much the same jumper. Um, and, yeah, I love the, the stitch detailing down the I sleeve do. rather than on the main body for a change. Yes, yes. I think, I think that really was actually doctor. quite nice and a little bit mm. unique because it's still classic but yeah. with a little bit of something different okay so that's that one all right i'm oh sorry you need yep to... i'm next, next. <laughs> sorry <coughs> okay five six eight two yeah. so i guess it's a two-tone and it looks like it's is, is it a rib yes it, it's um a ribbing detail on this um yes I've been, I haven't actually checked out the pattern as to whether this is done more as a fisherman's rib. I, I know, I was just different. thinking that too. Have a quick look. Yeah, um, but I'm absolutely loving the two tone on this one. So I love the way that they've put like a pink stripe and, and at the end of the sleeve as well. Just the whole thing about that when yeah. it came in, I thought was quite unusual um, yeah. and really stylish. Love, love it's, the picture. It's not a fisherman's rib, I've just looked oh, up. <laughs> yeah. That is when we, we get a lot of queries on this fisherman's exactly. rib. It throws people for some reason. It does, it does. Um, I don't deviations. have the, the little pink cardigan oh, on the back. Because it's so 5682. Yeah, it is in the one of the, the displays, but um, I didn't want to undress all the mannequins for it. <laughs> it's no. very difficult to put back together. Yes, um, it so is. Basically, there is a, a lovely cardigan as well in this, but I and really has, do love this sorry. this jumper. Mm. And it has the larger sizes because we do get requests for larger sizes we do. too. We do. Right, okay. Lovely. Right, so the next one I think you've got is 5681. And oh, I'll get... Yep. The, the brown one's the brown one the first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're looking We've at each other here because <laughs> we've got different colours this time. Yes, we do. So, yeah, this one has one, the brown neck. The, I don't the think neck. it shows quite as well just holding this one up, but it, it's very much one that needs to be on a body to really appreciate it. Yeah, yes. show how it works. But the the detailing at the bottom, it, it, the sort of different sizes of detailing starting from the bottom and then working up so that's Sorry, I'm just covering one. my face but you, you need <laughs> to see the garment more you do, yeah you do um but yeah the, the detailing starts off smaller at the bottom and gets wider towards the yes, top i can see it actually nice and sort of texture difference on it and we we do do a, a crew neck version yes um Again, I think that's on one of the models is the blue, but I've, we do have a pink. Yeah, a I think pink we've got one in pink. Yeah, hold on, I'll show you. Sorry, we're getting a bit tangled up here. We're mm. trying our best. It's mm. been a while. <laughs> and that. Yeah. That's quite sweet. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I yeah. like how it gets small and gets larger. It's a bit of... We've been talking about textures and... Yeah, there's a lot of texture in, in things at the moment, and we love it. It's yes. not everybody's cup of tea, but we, we really like it, don't we? Yes. So that's a, another, another lovely one. Oh, um, I like this one actually. It's kind of similar to something I'm knitting now. So it's five six eight three, yeah. and it's in that lovely blue. Oh, that's this, gorgeous. This cardigan that. with some of our uh, new arranged buttons. Oh, on. the buttons look really nice yeah, on it. I think these are class. They're like a coconut um, button. Yeah, um, done in all different colours. Again, lovely texture, but the back of this is is the bit I really love because there's oh. cabling, yeah, and texture. 
all the way down the back, which um, 5683. Mm -hmm. And something we want to say is like on our patterns now, because we've <clears> had numerous requests that if something's different on the back, we do have small photographs to let you see that detail yes. so that when you're getting the pattern, you know the back isn't the same as the front because you have the mustard version as well yeah of the v-neck cardigan one's the round neck one's the v-neck yeah again love love this these are quite big slouchy ones aren't they I yeah they are say. you can knit whichever size you choose but well, um judging yeah. by the weather i think we're going to have one of those winters where <laughs> <laughs> yes you it's want it to stay in we do so that's um that's that one and then we're on to five six eight four um Oh, Which, a slouch, another slouchy yeah, cardigan. It is, and this one's a bit different with the sleeves because they've, they've been intentionally given a short sleeve. Not everyone likes long sleeves because, you know, if you're being practical, if, you wash, if you're the person doing the washing up, you don't uh, want to yeah, be dangling your sleeves in the... I'm the dishwasher. ...in, um, in, in the dishes, do you? But, um, yeah. of course, you could make these a bit longer. You, you can obviously I alter like things that a little bit. I have a tunic top like this, and I actually mm. like that look a lot. Yeah, I like the I slouchiness. I think this is quite trendy with the slouchy pockets. Yes, it I is. I mean, my dress looks like that, but and you can't see that now. They are very dropped, curved sleeve, uh, shoulders on yes. this one. So uh, with a nice big collar. And I then do you have so a, the grey version? I have the grey version slightly. too. This one's got more more texture and, and detailing Yeah. Did on you it. say the pattern number? I did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's a <laughs> Oh, so, I like this one with the, the, the chevron. Yeah. Now that, I think I'll that's show lovely. the back because that's why I think it's quite nice is the chevron mm -hmm. at the back. Yeah, and they're, they're edge to edge of these, so there isn't a button on it. Of course, if you want to pop a toggle or something across, yeah, you a little can brooch. do. Yeah. But, um, but we've done these as an edge to edge, to edge yeah, one. Yeah, they're quite sweet. Um, but yeah, I, I think they're great. I love, yeah. love those. Um, and do check out the pattern images as well because I think some of the styling that they've given them on this this particular photo shoot i think it's really wearable um and yes that's one thing you you sort of do tend to look at you know what am i yeah. going to style it with what colors am i going to do right i've nothing to hold up as such but um, yes it's five six eight five it's the accessories pack we always mm. have one and it's quite a lot of nice things i'll show the back because mm. you can actually see some of the garments already here right with the nice little shawl and the lace the cable one Pom pom and hats, mm. and lace hats, cable hats. Yeah, and I'd then say a, a, all the a little traditional... shoulder wraps really are quite they're quite petite, um, so they're really meant for round your neck. I know we've styled some of them as like little shawls. Um, that's probably more for your smaller sizes. Yeah, um, yeah. So if, if you're a size eight or a ten or have very petite shoulders, you could probably use them as a wrap as well. If you're a bit larger than that or have wider shoulders and you're wanting to do more of a wrap, then I think on quite a few of them, you can just keep going um, and make them know. bigger. Yeah. Um, but, of course, allow for more yarn on that one. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. But they're definitely, for me, I'd be more wearing them as a scarf. Little yeah, little I think so rather too. than a shawl. Especially but if you have a coat on because it might just not cover it. Yeah. But they're the, lovely. The textures are wonderful. I love the like the texture of this hat goes with the pink and cream jumper. Yeah. Um and I just think that works so, so well. well. Mm. Yep. Last item? Uh, yes. Um we have the kids. Um Oh. oh no, that's the man's jumper. Oh, we couldn't find that. Earlier. We couldn't find that. But hiding. there you go. There's the blue <laughs> one. We'll just show you quickly. Yeah. <laughs> My apologies. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's what happens. So, um, we're oh, these five, six, Oof. eight, oh for these, and these are Oops. the little hoodies, which we've styled them on a little boy. Um, yeah. But you can style them on whoever you like. Hoodies are quite universal. Um, don't see the tag yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't forget what pot's for isn't it yeah. um, so there's a hoodie version and a lovely little yeah, jumper I can't but really you could yeah. do this in your pinks you could do it in the mustard and grey you know I think you're picking unisex girls like hoodies they do they do um, so and yeah this is the jumper it, version yeah. as well so uh, we we do sort of try and have roughly a boy and a girl option but yeah. Often the little boy's options would is unisex. Um, now, I would so, definitely agree with that. That's yeah. quite sweet. Thank yeah. you then. They're lovely. And that one goes up to a 30-inch chest. So, um, so it's a reasonable size. Yes, pre it is. Sort of thing, yeah. it? So I think 
Uh, I think that's everything. So yeah. be sure to subscribe and like yeah. and check out our social media and show us your likes. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.